Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session of Teaching with Teams, we will be looking at how to create a private channel and settings. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in my Teams class. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and create a channel that is accessible to everyone. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to simply click on these ellipses and I'm going to say Add Channel. The best practice is to usually create channels based on your topics, your chapters, or your weeks. So I'm just going to say week, um, let's say July 26th to July, is it 31st? Yeah, July 31st. I'm just going to keep it public. That is, this channel is accessible to everyone. And I'm simply going to say add. And it's going to go ahead and add my channel. And then now let's go ahead and create a private channel. There's a couple of ways that you can use your private channels. That is, if you want to create groups inside your classes, you can do that. Or if you want to have a set of group of students that need extra intervention, you can go ahead and do that. Or you want to just have a private channel just for yourself as an instructor, you can do that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply go ahead and click Add Channel. Let me just move this to the right. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and name the channel. I'm just going to name it, let's say, Group A. Let me put a capital letter. And I also want to put an emoji in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put, uh, let's say, this present. All right. So that's good enough. And I'm going to come here all the way. You can describe your channel if you want to. Let's just say the students go into the channel and they want to know what it is. You can always go ahead and describe. I'm just going to leave that for now. You will click all the way here and you will click on private access. That is, this channel is only accessible to the group of students that you assign to. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to click next. And then the next step would be to pick the students that you want. It could be as small as two students or 15, 20, doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick my students. I'm going to say Bhavani Kola guest. I'm going to pick one more student. I'm just going to say Vibhas. And I'm going to pick another student, Suhas. And I'm simply going to add the channel. And it's take a minute and I'm just going to say done. As you can see, my channel, the private channel has been created. And the difference between a private channel and the channel that is available to everyone is a lock sign. So if you see a lock sign beside a channel, that means that is private. And anything that you post inside the channel would not be accessible to anyone except the group of members that are in your channel. So there are a million ways that you can use this. It's just up to your creativity. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the channel permission. I'm just going to click on manage channel. I'm going to click on settings, member permissions. I do not want my members to create, update, or remove any tabs, but I definitely want them to delete messages if they accidentally type something. Let's see. I want them to edit the messages. That is good. I do want them to have channel mentions, and that will notify everybody who is inside the channel. And fun stuff, I definitely encourage my students to put up uh, emojis, but filter out the inappropriate stuff. So make sure you click strict here, and that is always there if you created a class team. And yes, I do want them to enable the stickers, memes, and upload any custom ones. So that's about creating private channel. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you do, please give it a like, subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to comment below and happy teaching.